Mr. Speaker, the Canada-U.S. Free Trade Agreement guarantees the U.S. unfettered supply of Canadian oil in exchange for unfettered access. In the case of the Keystone XL pipeline, approval is a no-brainer, particularly if you believe that the creation of good-paying jobs and energy security are a priority for the citizens of both countries. Our Prime, our Prime Minister has succeeded in securing overwhelming support of the U.S. legislators, business leaders and everyday American citizens. Now the Prime Minister has the opportunity to do something historic. A NAFTA challenge in support of Keystone approval would be the very first in history of the agreement to enjoy majority support from both the U.S. Congress and Canadian Parliament. Will the Prime Minister undertake such a challenge? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our government's focused on responsible resource development that protects the environment, safe communities, creates jobs and economic growth. It's for this reason that we've been clear in our support of energy sector infrastructure and improving access to markets. The United States, in particular, would benefit from this project for obvious key strategic reasons. Canada has the resource in abundance and is geographically well positioned to serve their continued demand for energy products. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.